The next morning, I made appointments at the Four Seasons, the Peninsula, and the Beverly Hills Hotel. The suite was 5,200 a night. I spent 17,000 on a shuffle master that was installed in the table. Faster, more reliable shuffles, less downtime between hands. Food was brought in from Mr. Chow and available to eat on the side tables. There was Macallan 18, Belvedere, 1942, Remy Martin, and an 88 Lafitte Rothschild served by a bartender who already memorized your drink. Cohibus and Monte Cristo were in the humidor. A professional stylist turned me into what my defense attorney would later call the Cinemax version of myself. I spent almost everything I had in preparation for the phone call I knew was coming. Hello? I want you to listen to me, because you need to hear this. Where are you? I need to tell you something in plain English, and I need to know that you understood it. Dean. You are unimportant. Do you hear me? And you are fired. The job, the game, you're fired. Can I ask why? How many of my friends are you sleeping with? I'm not sleeping with any of them. That's not what I heard. Listen to me. With a hazmat suit, Can I, I give wouldn't... Can I some advice? Lose the bitchy air. Lose the superior air. And go to the office and get your stuff and be out of there before I show up. Hey, are you Molly? Yeah. I'm Leah. Uh, Dean asked me to pack your personals. I appreciate it. He also asked me to get the numbers of tonight's players so I can confirm the list. I'm really sorry. Don't be. My phone's in my car. Uh, I'll text you all the numbers you need when I get downstairs. I texted my replacement a bunch of random numbers with 310 area codes. Then I sent a text to the players for tonight and told them the game had been moved to the Four Seasons Hotel. If you love poker, you probably enjoy the characters you meet along the way as well. Also, all the different settings from backroom games with friends to upscale private settings. It's part of the fun, unless you're one of those players who can't control him or herself. High stakes poker, like any form of high stakes gambling, can crush souls and ruin lives. The key is to enjoy the thrill of this intoxicating game without letting it destroy you. In Molly's game, we get a glimpse of the world of private high-stakes poker games in Los Angeles and New York. It's a world filled with celebrities, athletes, beautiful women, and plenty of booze and drugs. It's a target-rich environment if you're a smart and disciplined player. But for many others, it's a seductive trap that can often lead to a spectacular crash. The film Molly's Game is based on the true story of Molly Bloom, played here by the beautiful and talented Jessica Chastain. Molly Bloom is a young and beautiful Olympic-class skier who ran the world's most exclusive high-stakes poker game for a decade before being arrested by the FBI. When she got started in L.A., her games had a buy-in of $10,000. In New York, the buy-ins ballooned up to $250,000. For years, she made her money on tips for her and the lovely hostesses she hired, keeping the game legal. By the end, she was hooked on drugs to keep her awake, and she started taking a rake, which made her game illegal. She got sloppy, and in the end, it cost her dearly. She eventually found herself being woken up one morning by FBI agents holding automatic weapons. She wrote a book about her experience, which was adopted into a screenplay by Aaron Sorkin. Naturally, Sorkin added quite a few dramatic scenes and composite characters to the story, along with the crisp and witty dialogue we've come to expect from him. But the film is true to many of the details from the book. The players who attended her games in L.A. included huge stars like Tobey Maguire, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon. The celebrity angle is key here. Molly used this to recruit new players. Poker players love a challenge and the allure of playing with big stars helped Molly build a hugely successful game. In the film, Sorkin uses a composite character called Player X, played by Michael Cera, as the famous actor. Player X loves to destroy lives and relishes humiliating other players using his skills. And this is a key lesson. If you're going to be starstruck, you don't belong in these games. Sarah shows his range as an actor as he nails this role. The film is loaded with lessons for high rollers and lower stakes players as well. One character loses it after a bad beat. He's a disciplined poker player, always playing tight and winning consistently over time. But then he goes full tilt after a bad beat. 
losing over $1.2 million in the process. It's a clear lesson for any poker player. Never let yourself lose control like that. If you let your emotions get the best of you, you'll end up losing your money eventually. Also, these high-stakes games are loaded with degenerates. Molly loses her L.A. game when Player X gets angry with her. Molly discovers that he's staking other players, and he refuses to stop. He doesn't like her rules, so he takes away all her players. He calls her on her cell phone, cackling with laughter as he tells her how screwed she is. According to reports, in real life, it was Tobey Maguire who made that call, though he wasn't the celebrity who took away her game. But there's more, of course. One player who consistently lost big money in Molly's L.A. game was simply recruiting clients to his hedge fund, which was actually a Ponzi scheme. He flips later in the story. And then we have the involvement of the Russian mob once she brings her game to New York. In a scene pulled from the book, Molly gets beaten and robbed in her apartment and has a gun placed in her mouth by a mob enforcer. That's what happens after you politely decline an offer of protection. Jessica Chastain is brilliant in this film as Molly. She handles Sorkin's dialogue with impressive skill, working effortlessly opposite Idris Elba and the rest of the impressive cast. Elba plays her lawyer, Charlie, a fictional character created by Sorkin to help drive the story. Molly always looks gorgeous, flashing her lovely cleavage even when she's dressing down. But she and the glamorous hostesses she hired never hook up with the players. It's a rule that was critical to her success, and this was important to her from a personal perspective as well. She wasn't a prostitute, but this becomes an issue when Player X resents the lack of personal attention. In the end, we get to see a lot of the glamour surrounding these high-stakes private games, along with the potential pitfalls. Many of you won't be able to resist the thrill if you ever get invited to one of these games. Just be careful. Even if you're not into poker, Molly's Game is an excellent drama based on true events featuring fantastic performances by Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, and the rest of the cast. It's definitely one you should check out. 